Madame Honorine. Bonsoir, Gecko. Madame. Monsieur? Monsieur? Monsieur is composing. <laughs> oh, composing. You will wait. Oh, I'm sorry I've disturbed you. I'm early. On the contrary, uh, you are just in time. Oh. I could hardly wait for this evening. My days are so empty. Ja, Liebchen, I know just how you feel. I am empty too. Oh, how can you be? You have so many other pupils. Ja, natürlich. But no one who responds like you. <laughs> ah, now, what did we do last? Don't you remember? I am speaking about music. Ah, here? Yeah. There. Now remember? Leggero e rubato. Leggero e rubato. <clears throat> Leggero e rubato. a delicate instrument it must not be strained. Oh. Ah, come now, we rest. Oh, yes. We rest. There. Ah, now you, uh, you are comfortable, eh? Yes. <laughs> because uh, there is a little something I must tell you. Oh, I have something to tell you. Ah. I've left my husband. Huh? I've left him for good. And, uh, how much has he left you? Huh? Do you think I'd take money from such a brute? I threw it in his face. He gave you money? And you threw it back at him? But he... He bit me on the wrist and... And kicked me. Oh. You have no idea what I've been through. And you left your husband without a settlement? I've come to you just as I am. With no settlement at all? Nothing? Nothing. Except me.
Bengali, you... You don't want me? But... But you promised. But my voice, it's yours now to make us both famous. <laughs> but you told me so often. I've no other place to go. There's only you left. Oh. I worship you, Bengali. I'd even die for you. Don't look at me like that, Spengali. Don't look at me like that. Take your eyes off me, Spengali. Take your eyes off me. What about that? They are found uh, in the river. Oh, that is not possible. In this weather. But it is true, Maestro. I just saw her body in the morgue. In the morgue? Yes, Maestro. Very, very sweet. Mm, but a bad businesswoman. Maestro, I'm worried about something. What do you mean? Do you mind if I tell you? No, what? How are we going to pay the rent? You promised by noon. Yeah, yeah. Noon is a long way off. In the meantime, my dear Gecko, I am very hungry. I presume you are too. Get me my coat. Uh, we will go visit him. <coughs> hey. Maestro, I don't know what we're going to do. We have borrowed from everyone we know. We cannot go back to Barnard's. He will throw us out. Oh, possibly, possibly. But there are other people. Our English friends. They have not enjoyed the fragrance of our society for a week. We will go there. But, Maestro, the last time we were there, Monsieur Taffy and Monsieur Delaire and even the little Billy. He's so kind. Now listen. Yes. You know, the trouble with you is you have not sufficient optimism. Uh, little things discourage you. Remember, in the bright lexicon of youth, there is no such word as fail. Avanti, signori, avanti, 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 avanti,
these Englanders get dirty very quickly. That you Englanders have to take a bath every morning? How long is it since you took one? Huh? Not since I tripped and fell in the sewer. That's a good idea. We'll do it. Yes, come on. <laughs> Monsieur Taffy's Sunday suit. Yeah, but it is very becoming on weekdays. Huh? Monsieur Taffy. My dear Gecko, I have a pleasant surprise for you. Monsieur Taffy is a very large-hearted man. Yeah, he has been unusually generous. Look. Ha! The rent for Madame Dinard, breakfast, dinner, supper, and the rest we will spend foolishly. Remember what I told you, Gecko. In the bright lexicon of youth, there is no such word Milk as... Milk below! Milk below? You know, it would be a pity to let such hospitable friends starve. <laughs> Get the milk pitcher, Gecko. But we must ah, hurry!
May I come in? Are you Mr. Taffy? No. The lad then? No. Who are you? Who are you? Me? I'm a model. I work for Durian upstairs. He sent me down for Monsieur Taffy and the lad to look at. A model, huh? <laughs> for a moment, I thought you were a gendarme. Oh, I pose in these. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gecko, wait outside. But, maestro. So we will not miss our friends. Uh, but, uh... You need a model? All the artists say I have a very classic figure. Durian, Mallow. My dear young lady, I don't doubt it. As far as I can see. Shall I show you? Well, uh... Oh, I'd be glad to. Perhaps you can use me sometime. Well, uh, that's what I had in mind. Well, where <laughs> shall I change? Oh, in there? Well, that is as good a place as any. Very well, I'll be right out. Hey, I can hardly wait. arrive just in time. But there is a mob coming here that'll make a fool of you. <laughs> just as I am about to enjoy myself artistically, there is that face. Oh, maestro, come, uh, please. Oh, please, come. Oh, don't come. you <laughs> remember, sweet Alice Sweet Alice with hair. Just like that, you not see. I am a fool that shows you know nothing. The roof of her mouth must be like the dome of a cathedral to push out sounds like that. Come, come, Maestro. I told you. Come, come, quick, Maestro. But the tone is terrible. Ah, you a rough diamond is it's like a piece of coal. I gotta find out about that room. I gotta find out how I <laughs> It seems the joke's on me. Uh, and your new suit's on him. <laughs> <laughs> you should have the scotch forethought I had, and hid your suit like I hid my purse. <laughs> uh, by the way, where did you hide my purse? I put it safely away, <laughs> in the pocket of those trousers. <laughs> I was looking for Svengali. Svengali? Yes. He was here taking a bath. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, that's all right. But there's been no one taking a bath while I've been here. No. He's a tall creature. Polish or something. Oh, so that's Svengali. Well, I've been looking for that artist myself. Artist? Oh, he's not an artist. That is, not in the sense of a painter. He's a singing teacher and a, and a pianist. <laughs> Well, that's one on me. I'll get even with that fellow. Why? Oh, it's nothing. I'll see him again. He lives here. Oh, no, he doesn't. Nobody lives here but Taffy and the Laird. Uh, I just come in the studio to paint. There's Billy, slaving away his art. Uh, overwork will be his ruin yet. <laughs> Look out, now, Billy. Now, hold on. Down, down. <laughs> These are the gentlemen uh, you came to meet, Miss... Um... Trivia Farrell. 
Mr. Farrell, let me present Taffy and the Laird. Now you've met the three musketeers with a brush. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Durian sent her down. Oh, you said to him? Oh, yes. Modeling's my business. Head, hands, feet, everything, especially feet. Isn't that a pretty foot? It is that. It's he very pretty is. indeed. It is, isn't it? Everyone says it's the most beautiful foot in Paris. It's very pretty. There's only one that can match it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and where's that? <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's about um, quarter past ten. Yes, Monsieur Durian, I'll be right up. Well, there you are. Work, work, work. But what's the difference? So long as you're happy. Well, goodbye to you all. <laughs> you're coming back. Of course. There's several reasons why I must come back. What are they? Well, first of all, this place looks like a pig pen and needs a feminine touch. Hey, a pig pen? Oh, keep quiet. What's the real one? This place looks like a pig pen and needs a feminine touch. <laughs> <laughs> that girl has a wee bit of scotch in her, I bet. Mean. I think she's a wee bit of the devil in her. I think you're right. <laughs> I think she's lovely. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't know, Billy. You're just fooling when you say that. He doesn't really mean that. No. Yes, I do. She's lovely. Oh, but all fooling aside, uh, she did have a foot like an angel. I. She had that. You haven't worked on your canvas all day? I know. I don't believe you've touched it for a week. No, and I don't intend to until you give me your Do answer. Do you mean to tell me you'd leave me out there on that cold canvas unfinished forever? Forever and ever until you give me your answer. Well, I suppose I must answer sometime in the interest of art. Ruby. Oh, but I saw it. You do love me. You do mean it. Don't you know? Haven't I been telling you for weeks? Bonsoir, mes amis. Is anybody here? Everybody's out. Ah. <laughs> There seems to be the odor of baking in the air. Good? Good delicious. Good as mother makes. Oh, I can't be as good as all that. Oh, yes, you are. You're wonderful. You're the sweetest thing I've ever known. When we're married, I want to take you to England and to my mother. She'll be proud of you, Trilby. Proud of you as I am. <laughs> Tell me, what's England like? Oh, England's beautiful. Green fields and hedgerows and... Hollyhocks, primroses, and fog, and pneumonia, and shopkeepers, and flat feet, and boiled beef and cabbage. <laughs> Trilby in England would be like a butterfly in mutton soup. Billy! <laughs> <laughs> 
tarts for supper. Yes, and you won't get any if you don't come and play for them. I, I don't feel like playing the piano. No, 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 I don't feel like playing it now. I, I want to talk to you seriously. Yeah, I want to talk to you about your voice. Oh, that's a good one. Well, you tell me next, I want Ah, you don't understand. I look for you everywhere today. I want to do a my yo. There is no trilby. Where you been, huh? Oh, I had one of my funny headaches and didn't work all day. Headache? Yes, but don't tell anyone. They'd send me home. Ah, oh, poor Liebchen. Oh, it's nothing. It'll go away like it always does. Possibly. I can take it away for you right now. Oh. <laughs> I mean it. It is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, I show you. Can you really take the pain away? Yeah, now, now you sit there quietly and do just as I tell you, huh? Now, you look, you look at pretty Svengali. <laughs> Looking at you is a funny way to cure my headache, Svengali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> now, don't be afraid. Look me right in the eyes, Liebchen. Right in the eyes. If you can really cure my head. shall see nothing, hear nothing, dream of nothing, but Svengali, Svengali, Svengali. 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 Bengali. Yeah. That is right, Leech. Now sleep. Sleep. Open your mouth, Liebchen. Wide. I was right. A soundboard like an angel. The roof of her mouth is like the dome of the Pantheon. You go away. What's happening there? What's the matter, Trilby? What have you done to her? Trilby! Trilby! Wake her up! Are you asleep, Trilby? No. Then open your eyes and say you're all right. Can you open your eyes, Trilby? No. He's hypnotized her. Bring her out of it at once. At once, do you hear me? Can you hear me, Trilby? Yes. <laughs> then open your eyes. <laughs> Why, what's happened? Are you all right? Why, yes. My headache's gone. How on earth did you do it? I told you, it is so easy. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Huh? 
Your headache is here in my heart. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's nothing. <laughs> I will keep it as a souvenir. You want the pain in your heart? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Gentlemen, no violence. No violence. And no dinner. What'd he do? He hypnotized you. Hey, and don't you ever let him do it again. Those fellas can make you do anything and say anything you want. Lie, steal, anything. And then they make you kill yourself when they're done with you. Hey, they do that. But he took my pain away. Well, I'd rather have the pain than have it cured like that. Trilby, don't forget what I told you about the headaches. Gentlemen, it uh, might be as well to remember there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Come in, my dear. I'm sorry to trouble you. I shouldn't have come at this hour. Oh, it is no trouble at all. It is never too late to trouble Svengali. I thought I had to come. But I... I think...
I think I better go now. Without telling me what is troubling you? Oh, it's nothing. Really? Nothing at all. Except... Except? Did it come back? The headache. Yes. I woke up with it. And you thought I could help you, huh? Yes. That's why I came here. Yeah, yeah. Sven Gali told you, whenever you were in pain, to come to him, and he would take it away from you. My dear child, it's the most natural thing in the world. Come in, my dear child, it's cold out here. Come. Don't be frightened. <laughs> Sit down. Here. Are you comfortable? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, poor Klein. Oh, your nerves are jumping like mad. But... And your skin? Oh, it's hot like fire. Poor leaves. Oh, look at me. Come. <laughs> look me in the eyes, leaves. Oh, don't go, Liebchen. It's been so long since I've seen you. But I... I must, I... Ah? You've been crying. Poor Trin. You know, perhaps I can cure a pain in the heart. Just as easily as one in the head. Huh? Nobody can cure this pain. It's for someone... someone else whom I've hurt. 
Oh, I see. Oh, come. Tell old Svengali all about it. Huh? Yeah, he'll understand. <laughs> you know, when human beings are unhappy, there's always something to do about it. Come on now, tell me. <laughs> tell me all about it. Well, it, it's Billy. Today, today I posed at Corral School. And he saw me there before all those men. Oh, you won't understand. And I'm so ashamed. Ah, uh, but I do understand. Yali. Billy is not like the others. Ah, uh, my poor Trinity. Do your eyes reflect the virtue that he sees in them? Look in your mirror. Do you think you should be on such a high pedestal? After all the other artists you have known? What do you mean? Does he, uh, uh, Does he know about Durian? Durian? What is there to know about him? Only what all the rest of us know, my poor Trilby. Except the innocent little Billy. I won't listen to you any longer. How could I help being kind to a man who had been so kind to me? Oh, kindness is a virtue undeniably, but... Oh, to be so very kind. I am good, I tell you. I'm not like those others. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Ah, poor Trinity. Poor little leaf. Surely you are good. You are good like a little bird. Like a lark that must sing in the sunlight. But are you good enough to face little Billy's mother as his wife? After... Durian, the sculptor, Mayo, the painter, <laughs> Lamarcy. Come, come, Billy Lamb, there's nothing to worry about. I oh, know. Yeah. We drop and Doris and we'll have Truby back in your arms within an hour. Ah. What are you standing there for, man? Get the waski. Ah. i get the glasses myself. What is it, Billy? She says she's not good enough for me. But I saw today she really isn't. She's going away and never see me again. But well, Billy, she tells you that she loves you. Never see me again. ever again. Or anybody else, she says. Stop her! Hang her! Billy! Billy, Billy boy! Here, lad! Do you know Trilby O'Farrell? Are these her clothes? Found them on the bank of the scene. Where is she? In the morgue. If they found her body by now. I'm afraid you will never find her, monsieur. The river is too high to drag. Quel est son nom, madame? Oh, depuis trois ans. 
do it. I... This is a marvelous change since we saw him last. Uh, it's been just five years. Wonderful. They say that his wife is a very beautiful woman. Didn't you say that she was a Polish woman that he picked up in Russia? Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, if she's as beautiful as they say she is, he must have hypnotized her into marrying him. I'm no interested in that. What I want to know is who's giving him his baths now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably she is, in self-defense. Eh? <laughs> Come, laddie, we must get the tickets uh, now. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Standing room only. Oh, let me. No, way. Get him. That's enough to pay to see Sven Garlina dress suit. Is he? Is he? Me? Me? Is it Mrs. Bengali here? Not yet. Not yet? But tonight, it is the debut of Las Bengali in Paris. Paris is not different than Berlin or Vienna but or Madrid. it is almost time for the concert. And I have a very important message for Monsieur Bengali. You'll pardon me, please. Bengali. I am speechless, madame. Every night you grow more beautiful. Thank you, Signor Bonelli. Home Paris is waiting at your feet. But what are you waiting for? Oh, I burst with pride. Well, control yourself a moment. Just a moment. Marta! Now, oh. why do you burst? Three illustrious gentlemen are waiting in the green room to interview Las Bengali. Madame Spengali never gives interviews. How many times must I tell you? Uh, but it means another command performance in St. Petersburg. These three gentlemen are messengers from the court of Russia. Does not matter. Oh, I am desolated. Here, attached to this beautiful bouquet, is a present from the Tsar himself. Do you still refuse to allow madame to see these gentlemen? You refuse positively? Not the necklace, only the interview. But, Monsieur Bengali! Monsieur Bengali! Che animale! Porco! Maiale! Tossino! Ma ve la pagherai! Here is a little trifle I thought would be becoming. A trifle? Why, they're gorgeous. There is nothing too beautiful for La Svengali. <laughs> you are sweet to me, Svengali. What are you staring at, you old fool? Maestro, I am very sorry to disturb you, but you are late. The theater is already packed. Even the standing room is gone. 
That is as it should be. Go away. You have never looked more lovely. Never more adorable. He's so far away you cannot see him. Has he changed much? I can't even see a grease spot on him. Then he's changed much. I now have a chair in the aisle for monsieur. My glasses, please. Merci beaucoup. Sorry to trouble you. No trouble at all. How about three more chairs? I'm sorry, monsieur, that was the last one. But I will try to get you some opera glasses so you can see Las Bengali. Uh -huh. You do that, lady. Did you forget the opera glasses? No, monsieur, I'm sorry. They are all rented like everything else tonight.
We're here to see Monsieur Svengali. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I have strict orders to admit nobody. Oh, but we're old and intimate friends of Monsieur. I'm sorry, nobody. <laughs> no need to try and keep his feet clean. Oh, no. He hasn't been clean for five years. You know that. Gecko! Why, Gecko! Oh, 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 I can't begin to deceive Bengali. It is very difficult to see Mr. Svengali at any time. Gecko, tell me, is he still dodging the landladies? Uh, Mr. Svengali is beyond such a thing, Mr. Svengali. Mr. Svengali. I notice you're not beyond getting yourself a belly. Oh, look at the nice opera coat he's got. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I, I must go. I am in a hurry. Oh, oh certainly. Oh, start oh, start yeah, come on. <laughs> Truly. She's not... It is Truby, isn't it? It can't be. The pain again, Maestro? Yeah. Kindly get far. All right. All right. But it is, I'm sure of it. But her voice. Trilby couldn't have sound like that. Why, it's Billy. <laughs> Billy. Kathy and the lid. Oh, it's so good to see you all again. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I must have mistaken you for someone I knew. Don't make a scene here, Billy. been asleep for ages. Haven't I been good to you, Trilby? When you were ill, who, who gave you back your life? You did. I've done everything I could to repay you. Yeah. Except love me. And oh, Liebchen, I do love you so Oh, please. 
see. Svengali. I've tried, but I... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know very well why you can't. It is the magnificent young Englander, the head of the Purity Brigade, Sir Galahad. Hmm. His stiff neck, little believe. What is he, Liebchen? With his silly paints in one hand and his twiddling brushes of pig's bristles in the other. What does he amount to compared to Svengali? Ah, oh, he paints his silly pictures and sends them to London where they hang up on the wall. Like... Dead soldiers on parade. And the people pass in a long procession and yawn. Svengali will go to London himself, where he will be all alone on the platform. And princesses and countesses and serene highnesses will fling him their jewels and applaud him and invite him to their palaces. And he will take you with him, Liebchen, and never look at them. Da, oh, we could be so happy. But I... I don't like palaces. No. Nor anything else that other women like. Except the little bit. Look at me in the eyes. Open your eyes. love. But it is only Svengali talking to himself again. Did you get tickets for the concert tonight? There won't be any concert tonight. Svengali and his company have cancelled the engagement and gone away. Where are you going? After him. Svengal is not running away from you? Not from me, Taffy. But from the fear of the day when his spell over Truby will be broken. As it was for a moment last night. Eh? And what will you do when you catch up with him? Just wait till the day comes. I'll get her back. If I have to follow them round the world.
Captain Gallant, when will he be ready? When he is ready, he'll be here. But he's already one hour late. The people are telling him down the house. When he is ready, he'll be here. Oh, give us on the bread. I must go make an explanation. Curtains, please. Signore e signori, vi domando perdono per questo grande ritardo, ma non è colpa mia. Il cavallo della carrozza del signore e della signora Svengali è morto per strada. Sì. Ma adesso sono arrivati, sono là che si cambiano i vestiti e fra poco lo spettacolo comincerà. E grazie mille. Dai. You are not made up yet? And they are waiting for the concert to begin. Waiting is good for such a refrain. You're not sick? Yeah, I am sick. I cannot go on. But what about Las Bengali? Has she ever appeared without me? You mean you refuse to give her the concert again? Yeah, there are no concert. Then there will never be another one. If Las Bengali does not sing tonight, her career in Europe is ended. I tell you, I am sick. All right, then I am through. From now on, you can manage yourself into the poor house. Every place you have broken your engagements until there is an, an, another theater that will contract for Las Bengales' appearance. Are you trying to tell me what to do? I would like to tell you where to go, but there isn't any place for you except the dives. And now, that's where you belong. <laughs> Tell that rabble, La Svengali cannot appear tonight. But they will kill me, maestro. Ah. I will give you a military funeral. Signore e la signore Svengali non possono apparire questa sera. Please, Maestro, cancel the engagement. I will go in and tell them. Uh, all right, now. But that spell you had tonight, it was the worst you ever had. And I am afraid of maybe... Take Madame Stangali to her dressing room. I'll join you later. Leave Go with Gecko. Wait for me.
Colonel Sherman. I did not come here to fight. Do you expect me to sit down and talk quietly? I think it would be as well for all of us. I think you will agree with me. After I explain. Sit down, sit down. Uh, have a drink. Some champagne will clear the atmosphere. Garçon! The meilleur champagne que vous avez tout de suite. Now we can talk like old friends. What do you want? The alarm. Nothing from you. What do you want? You, uh, you will not have to follow me after tonight. You uh, probably would not want to. What do you mean? What are you driving at? Oh, nothing mysterious. Tonight, is La Svengali's last concert. Do you mean you're taking Trilby back to Paris? My dear young friend, that is for her to decide. To Trilby and her freedom. Surely you will drink to that. The next act has been brought from Europe at tremendous expense. He is probably alluding to that superb artist, Svengali. I, uh, I have an act now, you know. The queen of the kings, the toast of emperors, assisted by the great maestro Svengali. You can hear with what delirious appreciation they look forward to my music. I, uh, I feel sure you would not wish me to keep them waiting. Excusez-moi. My young friend, remember what I once told you. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Auf Wiedersehen. What's the matter, Liebchen? Are you all right? Why, yes. Except I feel... Yeah, yeah. Strangely. Listen, my dear. Tonight, I want you to watch me very closely. Do not take your eyes off mine, even for an instant. And remember, there is nothing in your mind, nothing in your heart, nothing in your soul, but Svengali. Svengali. Thank you. 
base hit. I'm right here with you. Speak to me, darling. Oh, God. Grant me in death what you denied me in life. The woman I love. Avanti, signori. <laughs> <laughs> 